Right. Right. Oh. <laughs> ah, my name is Patricia Hayes and uh, I'm 90 and I was born in 1927 on St. Patrick's Day with my twin sister, uh, Betty. Yes, uh, my, our parents were um, May and Harry Roberts. And we were born in Denison House in, um, where was that? Fallowfield. Uh, Fallowfield, yeah. yes. Victoria Park. Yes, yeah. Victoria Park, that's where we were born. Yes. Okay. Now, what about your parents? Oh, <laughs> yes. Uh, Mum and Dad. Well, they died quite young, actually, so we didn't have an awful lot of time with them. But um, Dad was in the First World War and uh, he married Mum and she was a bit younger, quite a bit younger than him. Mm. Um, and we, uh, we lived in, uh, in the area of Victoria Park, a bit Fallowfield way, yes. And we had another sister who is 92, so we've all made it so far and um, she was evacuated with us actually but uh, when she was 14 she went home so so we've all lasted quite a long time up to now what about your memories as children this is before the war because ah. I, mean, I mean as you said I mean, you were born in 1927 so yeah. What, what, I mean, there was quite a while before the war started, so what was it, what were your memories during, you know, in the, in the build-up to war, if you like? Oh, it was idyllic, oh. wasn't it, really? Yes. We you used know. to call it peace, didn't we, before the war? Looking back, yes, we after say the that war, we used to peace. say our childhood was peace, peace, we? yes. And innocence. Yes. Yes, we, um... We, we had lots of friends, and yes. we're all, it was all... Communal living was much better oh, yes. in those days. Yeah. Everybody knew everybody. Playing and, in the street. And, oh, we could play in the street and the and fields. And on the fields. You could go on the fields and never even think about anything, you know, happening, happening. to you. No. no. Yes. And, um, yes, we, oh. uh, we had a lovely childhood. We did. really didn't, well. Yeah. I mean, we didn't know. I suppose it was a, a normal... Um, well, we, we 1920s, just 1920s type, 30s, type of thing, yes. Do you remember but, any particular sort of funny incidents or anything like that from that period? Funny incidents, funny. did we? Well, we laughed a lot. We had lots of funny things, really. Oh God, we can't think. Uh, I remember the ice cream... Ice cream. Oh, um, Carlo Visco. Yes, <laughs> yes. The ice cream um, yeah. cart, because they had carts in those days, highly decorated, and donkeys. Yes. Yeah. And they and on the fields where we used to go, the donkeys and the carts were put at night. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That was lovely. But, uh, they used it's... to come and um, all the kids would be out, and then later on. The fathers would come out with a bucket and shovel, like they used to, oh, yes, after, after the, the horse. horses. Oh, yes. yes, that was a regular was, thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. So, uh, holidays, we didn't do much, really. Did well, well, they were days no, we out. No, we couldn't afford or, to, really. No, you'd no. Go, perhaps go to Blackpool for a day. I mean, we weren't well off, but we weren't poor. No, uh, to, and to some, to some, some of them, them, but there was yeah. a lot of poverty in those days. Oh, there was. There was. Yeah. But everybody gelled. Yes. We all, they all got helped together. each other. Yes. Yes. And at school it was the same, wasn't it? Yes, it, it was. was. Yes. You were never, you perhaps be conscious somebody was dressed particularly nice. Yeah. When all we were dressed just normal, weren't we? Normally, yeah. but some, yeah. some were well off children, but not a lot. We were, and it didn't matter. You know, everybody more or less mucked in and did the same sort of things. And the church played a, uh, the chapel in our case, wasn't it? Yeah. Played, played a, a big part. We used to go there to concerts. They had carnivals and you were all dressed up and... Yeah. Oh, and May Day. Yes. Oh, and particularly Empire Day, which doesn't seem to exist anymore. 
because the empire doesn't in the yes. same state. Yes. And uh, they used to dress the horses up, you know, didn't they? They used on to May plait Day the horses' manes yes. and put ribbons yes, on them on May Day. And yeah. bells. And we all used to turn out to see the uh, horses, didn't we, yeah. coming round. Yeah. And there were competitions between the owners of the horses. And when we say horses, I mean they were working horses. Yes, they were. Yes. yes. They, uh, they pulled the carts, the ice cream carts and the... Um, green grocery carts, the bread the beer, carts, the beer, the beer carts. Beer carts yes. Yes. And they yes. used to roll the barrels down, didn't they, into the uh, a like big cellar and they went into like like the coal did. They used yes. to empty your coal bags into your shoes. They used Ooh, the God. cellars a lot. Must in have those been days. filthy. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. We used to stand round them. Oh yes, and then there was the big puffer Billy, the great. Big, which was that tractor th thing? I don't know what we oh. called it, and it used to come and repair. And they did repair the streets, didn't they? And yes. put fresh. And uh, Mum used to bring us round concrete, concrete. when she knew he was there because she said it was good for whooping cough for your chest. So the, you the could... fumes that came up from the, the whatever concrete. it was, uh, pitch. Yes. It was called pitch. pitch. Yeah, yeah, yes. So, yes. Uh, well, oh, was that. funny thing. Yes. But do you remember, we were about, must have only been about two, and the, the lavatory was outside yeah. in a yard, and it was next to the coal, coal house. Place. And Pat and I definitely remember taking the coal and putting it in the toilet. We filled and the coal right, right up to, to the oh, top. Mum went mad when she found well, we out. We do smacked. remember that. Yeah, We did used to get smacked in those days, oh, and it did us what? no harm. Yes. So. Oh yes, and we used to go with it being pretty soon after the war, the First World War. We used to go to the park. We were taken to the park, Victoria Park and Platfields regularly. Yeah. And there were ex-servicemen's uh, parades and Max Sweeney's pipers. Oh And yes. we were always taken to see these. But there were some sad cases. I mean, yeah. you don't see them now because there's. Well, places where they can have new limbs made, but you didn't see many with new limbs, did you? No, In those no. days. Oh, no. No, no. no. it was sad. But Awful. you grew up with it. You accepted it, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Yes. So. so, that was an idyllic time, and then suddenly, it was. World Definitely. War Two comes up. What, what do you remember about the outbreak of World War Two? Oh. <laughs> We were playing cricket or something. We were going to play cricket with the boys, weren't yes, we? Were we were only always with the boys. Well, what were we, about 11? 11. 10. 10, 10 or 11. Yeah. Yes. We were always with these boys. We were going to play cricket. And suddenly, somebody came up on his bike, another boy, and he said, war is imminent. So we said, what, what? does imminent mean? <laughs> Just That's what we remember of the outbreak yes. of the war, yes. And uh, yeah. he was he was in the war and later didn't come back. There was quite a few, but and that's uh, when we were all evacuated after that. Yes, but, we all we had to go to school. Yeah. Oh, that was a, a thorn, wasn't it, in yeah. the side? Because we had to spend more or less four weeks ready, getting ready to be evacuated. School. We had to have everything ready in a packed. big sack. Yeah, big sack. Yeah. And you carried it, and everything but the food yes. was ready every day, and you had to go to school so that you were on site for when the buses came okay. to take you to the station. And we never knew the day. So when our parents saw us off to school, they didn't know when they'd see us again, yeah. but we invariably came back <laughs> for, for nearly six weeks. Yeah. And what we did at school, it was just larked about. It wasn't, it wasn't school. No. no, it wasn't. Uh, we didn't have to do lessons. No, but it was but fun. On the actual outbreak, when we were at, um, evacuated, we'd only been there about two days at this big posh house at Darwin. And she was a headmistress that took us in eventually. Yeah. And we always remember she'd been to church and we were stood at the gate, weren't we, of the house. Yes. And uh, she suddenly got out of a taxi and she said, War has been declared, girls. Don't go far away. 
<laughs> when we think of it after, you know, we thought, she we didn't say know that. where to go. Don't go far away. We couldn't. We didn't know where we were anyway, did we? <laughs> no. But we enjoyed it. The evacuation. Yeah, we're, oh, it, yeah. It's, it shaped, I think it shaped a lot of our future. I'm yeah. sure it did. Yeah. We were Darwin, and we used to walk up to Darwin Tower, didn't we? Yeah, and, and it was woods. terrible uh, weather that first year, wasn't it? I thought the Christmas, summer was terrible. marvellous. The summer Couldn't was wonderful. Couldn't get out of the back door, could we? But what? Because of the yeah. snow. But when the uh, snow came, yeah, everywhere was snowed up. No, we couldn't get out of the no. back door. And the soldiers had to come, didn't they? Mm, and they had dig to dig for yes. dig us out, more or less. Yes. We were at the foot of the moors, you see, and the big tower was on the top, Darwin. Yes. Darren Tower. Darren. Darren Tower. Yes. Mm. And, of course, we started talking with their accent, which Mother didn't like when we got home. <laughs> we loved it, and yeah. we still do. I love accents. There's lots of things in our future that has based... Shaped from shaped. that. Shaped. Yes. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And yet, you used to think we were there two years. I thought we were there two years. It was six months. Six months. It was five and a half. We went I back for it. the Blitz. Yes, didn't we? Manchester Blitz. Yes, we were there. Yeah. But we weren't affected, but we could see it happening from could where we lived. Could see all the flames. Yes. Mm. Oh, yes. 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 And then, <sighs> yes, there was a lot of... Uh, lot of things going on but it was it there's so much happening mm. so during the blitz did you see any of that i mean you were in you were there at the blitz did you did you it, see any sort of anything going on at uh, night you uh, would well we didn't see we didn't actually see bombs no, because no. we were we lived in Blakely about four five miles out of. But we were high up, weren't we? And we could yes. see sort of over in the distance all the uh, all the sky. All the sky, up and all yes, that. and yeah. searchlights crisscrossing. We used to lie and look at them, and it was lovely. It wasn't really, but we thought it was great. But our air raid shelter was. Um, it had a stream under it, naturally it would have, and uh, so they decided to give us an Anderson shelter, which was inside. Was it the Anderson? No, 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 it was the Morrison, the Morrison inside. shelter was inside. It was the Anderson and it was, was built dumb. like a table. I think they went under once or twice, but our older sister, she, she was awful. <laughs> I'm not coming under there, so we'd find her under the bed with a tin hat on and nothing else, because yes. that's what, how she slept. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. So I bet we've exhausted it now. Yes. It's <laughs> <laughs> absolutely fascinating. Oh <laughs> good. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. and then we had the Yanks. Well, she had the Yanks, we didn't. No, when when the Americans when the Yanks came, came over, over, that was a yeah. big She was the war, very yes. attractive, wasn't she, our Jean? Jean yeah. was, yes. Still is. Ninety two. Yeah. <laughs> But, um, yes, they made a big impact. Oh, they did. Yeah, lots of girls. And we had a friend who got married. She was at 17. She went over to the States. She's only recently died this yeah, year. Yeah, only a few she was, months She ago. made a good match. She was uh, happy over there in California. Yes. Because yes. Yes. they used to spin tales about uh, they all lived on ranches and all that, you know. <laughs> And had slaves for oh god, it spun some they tales. Tell if you, you fell anything. for it. But one of the nice things was that in the war was the music. Oh was, yeah, oh, Glenn Miller and all that. Yes, yeah. you used to wait for his all his records to come out, and yeah, it was lovely. And the. Do you recollect anything much about things like rationing? Yes and no, because we were in it. We had no options. We just ate what we were given, what we were allowed. And we, it, it didn't bother us. I mean, we, we could remember bananas. We were old enough to remember bananas. But you didn't see those till after the and war. And then they were dried up, those that they oh, sent yes. over. Yes. Funny dried up things. Yes. But no, I, we were healthy. <laughs> no, we were healthy. We survived. Yeah. And then there was Dig for Victory, which everybody did. Yes. yes. And in the holidays, the school, because we didn't have holidays. Really. Well, you couldn't go away. No, it wasn't, you couldn't. couldn't risk no. it. But we used to go to um, 
Holmes Chapel in Cheshire. Oh, yes. And uh, spud for a picking. week, we used to pick uh, potatoes Potato. and gooseberries. Yes. yes. Well, that was awful, the gooseberries, yes. But, uh, you know, you met people, you saw things. You travelled, which we wouldn't have done normally. Mm. We'd have just stayed. And then we were cyclists and we joined the youth hostel, didn't we? Mm. And we met our boyfriends, which were yeah. our husbands later. Yes. Yes, the youth hostels were a great help to yeah. keep the kids off the street in the blackout, you know. But did, the blackout didn't bother us at no, all. No, it didn't, no. No. You did have a blackout, though, presumably, where you were. Oh, can't ever. Oh, all the time, yes. yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. And there was always the um, ARP wardens shouting at you, you know, put that light oh, out oh, and God, put your yeah. torch down and... Oh. And you wore, sometimes you wore big luminous uh, round white yeah. badges, discs, like, discs yes. on your arm, mm. yeah. yes. Did your father fight in the war? Not the Second World War, no. he was in he the was Home in Guard. The home guard. Yes. Yes. yes, but he did in the first, didn't he? Well, yes. Was, yeah. yes. Was he in France in the first? Yes. yes, he was, he didn't talk about it, only about... He only he didn't mention about people being killed, did he? But we know he saw it. But he used to say the dead horses, horses lying in the road him. was terrible. I've you got know. his. Uh, yes. But um, yeah, no, he would in never talk diary. about it. No, he wouldn't. No, well, well he didn't, did they? No. Yeah. So, and, and so in the in the Second World War, he was he was a oh, yes. guard. guard. Did you, you know ever was... get to hear anything about that at all? Oh yes, it was all, it was happening all the time. It was all round you. Yeah. And they'd go on manoeuvres. Oh, and it, it was such a break for the husbands. It was oh, great. Yeah. And they always, they always ended, ended up at the, the pub. pub. Always. Yes. But oh, they were but called, you know, they called them the LDV first. You know that, yes, don't you? Yes, Luke, Luke, Luke Duck, Duck and Vanish. vanish. Yes. yes. And that's and why they changed it. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Duck and Vanish. It was awful, that really. Yeah. Wasn't it? But the, oh, the men loved it. I don't know how they adapted to just normal life afterwards because it gave them an interest yes. and they could all, you know. And we and once went fire watching, didn't we? Oh, With yes. These boys we'd met at the youth club. They said, you can come fire watching at the Corp. So we said, oh, all right. Ooh. But for some reason, we were down in the basement, not on, on the, the roof. Uh, <laughs> and we got not on the roof. Where we should have been. <laughs> where we yeah. should have been. I think it was a ruse to get us down there, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, really? I think so. Mm. Never saw any fires, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But, so, you had essentially six years, or just under six years. Oh, we years. did. It oh, was yes. all our oh, teenage, six, really. It was. Yes. And then some, some we were of 18. Because it was a while before things... Well, they never really got back to... No. Because a lot of moved on with the American... Uh, Angle. Before we get on to the, the end, end of the war, I mean, you said that your your elder sister she was yeah. she was meeting um, uh, what, Americans, uh, Americans yes, yes. and so on. Yes. What about you? Did you not come across any? Uh, uh, once or twice, yes. Yeah. Uh, came the, to our there's... house. Oh yes, yes, yes we did meet. The, Jean... yes, they were, most of them were were very nice. Some were brash, like mm. you would get with our lot anyway. Yeah, but mm. most of them were very polite. Weren't they? Yeah. Majority. Oh, yeah. We didn't. I don't know what mother fed them on when they came. I think no, it was no, but they brought, apple. No, they brought stuff. They with did them. bring tins. Yes, of they stuff. could yeah. get loads of stuff. Somehow it came over from America. Mm. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. Just going back a little bit because I, I you, you, you went off um, away from home for a while and spent six months. Six months yeah. away. Yes. Tell me a little bit about what developed when you when you arrived at, at your your new um, destination yes. if you like yeah. what, what 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 happened then when you when you arrived oh we were all lined up oh yes we were all lined up we were given buckets to have a wee in weren't we oh, it was no, terrible. No, nobody wanted to go it was just sort of an enclosure but you could see people oh yes you, you could went, see yeah. them through the so, um, canvas and then the all the pair, all the um, people who were going Foster to have you parents. came along and viewed you. You were stood there like cattle, weren't you? Oh, yeah. Really? Yes. Uh, oh, and they were picking them left, right and centre. And a few of them came, well, quite a few. They'd take Pat and I, stood with our plaits, you know. But they wouldn't take our jeans, so we said, no. And Mother said, a... we haven't got to be separated. 
So we were left till the end. <laughs> yeah. God. With the black children, weren't we? Yes. Yeah. Ah, yes. The we were the family. Mm. Nobody yeah. wanted us. Anyway, this um, headmistress's maid saw us, yes, didn't she? She, came she said, oh, she said I'll, I'll take, take them. I think she, she should have been there earlier and she wasn't. Mm, yeah. So she grabbed what was left, which was us. Was us. And then there were the five black children. And the vicar came and he, who had no intentions of, he was just uh, organising things. Mm -hmm. He took them all. Took all those black children and... Uh, and they were poor, weren't they? They, they were no poor, shoes. yes. Yeah. And uh, he bought them all new boots. And... Um, Oh, and he looked after them. And in those days, I don't know whether it's the same, but they, uh, when when a, a vicar had a, went could go to a, a new living, mm -hmm. they called it a living. They went to another place, yeah, and right. eventually he took all that all that family with him. He was a marvel, and I've tried to find out things about him since. I wish I could, because he really was a hero. That man. Yes, he was. Yeah. Yes. And then I met up with one of the children, the youngest child, years later, about 50 years later, because we used to give little talks at school about the evacuation. And um, I managed to track him down. And he was, yeah, he was, he was a good 50 odd years old. And he was thrilled to bits to come and uh, talk about it. So that was nice. There were good things. Yeah. We did enjoy it. We were very lucky with the people who looked after us. Oh, we were. Yes, we're. they were great. Yeah. So, so moving on, and you, you returned home, and then you suddenly find yourselves in the Blitz and so on. And then yes. the war continued. And then eventually we, were, we get to the stage where um, VE Day will, will have um, been yes. on the horizon. Oh, yeah. what, what do you remember of the, of the end of the war? The lights oh, going yes. up. The, the lights at night. We uh, knew the lights went on and we went dancing round the streets. Everybody didn't we? Was, yeah, we thought it was marvellous. Yes. We could see, we could see. Yes. Yeah, that was and, the main thing uh, to us, wasn't it? Yeah. And then the excitement about were we going to be allowed a day off work? Oh, it was terrible that. I think it well, was. And which day would it be? Yeah. Would it be the day that war was declared yeah. over or the day? I think it was the day after. Yeah, we only had yeah. one day, didn't we? I yes. think. We all thought we'd get two. Mm. Yes. Yes, that was, it was amazing. But, uh, and then of course, all the men who came back had to be found jobs. Mm. And they were, they were just drafted into offices and sat there and they didn't know what they were doing half the time. No. But eventually they, you know, they sorted themselves out, but there were lots and lots of men. I, I don't know how they ever adapted to what type of life they'd led in the in the war. How they adapted it. But well, they were happy, weren't they? They were always oh, playing were. jokes on us and oh, all yes. that. You know. Oh, yeah. it was it was fun working with them. Yes. Yeah. But then then there was the sad parts. Those that didn't come back. Yeah. Some of the boys, quite a few of the boys with the, the youth hostel, they didn't come back, you know. Mm -hmm. And they'd started off as evacuees and then got into, as the war went yeah. on, they, they went into the forces and, yeah. But, uh, it, well, it was our youth, you know, and yeah, you just yeah. accept it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't know what any other sort of life was like, so... Yeah. No, it yes, was... you would have been eighteen years old at the time yes. of the uh, of the end yes, of the war. It were, yes. And had you got uh, boyfriends by that time? Oh yes, oh, yes. at the youth club we met them, didn't we? When we were about we were sixteen, <laughs> they came to our seventeenth birthday party. Yes, we were sixteen. Yeah. When and we they were met. friends, fortunately, and they're the ones we married, you see. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> eight years later. Yes. God, eight years. Well you, you couldn't get married then, you know. It's and we're still married, and 60 years later, well, I was, you were 65 for you. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, so uh, you got married, you said, eight years later. Yes. yes. So that would have been in 1951. Yes, yes it, it was. was. Double yeah. wedding, yeah. A double, A double wedding. wedding. Oh, yes. wow. Yeah. yeah. But no parents. No mother, parents. Father no, had to do it all within about four six years weeks after we decided, mother died, didn't we? Mm. I think so yeah, we, we had got about £100, pounds, didn't so, we? So who gave you away? Grandpa. 
Oh, right. Yeah, he gave us away, yeah. Oh, he was 80-odd, was wasn't he? Yes. Yes, he walked down the aisle with one on each arm. We had to do a sort of funny wheel, didn't we, at the... Oh, yes. The top there. Yes. Good job he gave the right one to the yes. right group. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he was really thrilled yeah. to bits, wasn't he? But, oh, Lord, they were... F I mean, when you think of the meal... <laughs> oh! <laughs> what was it? It was ham. Time. Ham, some sort of ham, and they mainly lettuce. <laughs> oh, God. And Eric and I were going quite a lot. We were going to Chipping Camden uh, in Lost, uh, in uh, the Cotswolds. So we left early because we had a series of buses, a taxi, buses, trains, changing trains to get there. So we missed the ice cream, but apparently it was a good job we did. It was horrible, wasn't it? You yeah. Said. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Yes. Oh dear. God. Yes. So you had your honeymoon. Yes. And presumably you, uh, 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 sort of things. I mean, people, young people came along. Oh uh, yes, definitely. Yeah. Yes, we'd been married a few years, and then, uh, but we didn't have twins, did we then? No, no. We just had one each for a while, and then you had two more. Yeah. And I had one more. Yes. But I've yes. got twin grandsons, that's the, you know. So it runs in I've the family. I've got twin grandsons. Yes, it does run yeah. in the family, yeah. yes. Yes. Uh, yes. And what about your older sister? Yes, she got married. She married yeah. uh, a Lithuanian in the war. A Polish, he'd uh, escaped, hadn't he? He was a Polish, yeah. yes, he was with the Polish army. I think his family army. had all been shot and he'd managed to escape. Yes, he came over with the Polish army. Yeah. When all the DPs came over. Yeah. So, but it didn't last. Well, it lasted so long, didn't yes, it? Then she got divorced. So yeah, yes. a different way of life it was. Yes. So. And she had two children. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and we we see her quite a bit and phone her, you know. So mm. yes. So we. We've talked so. quite a bit about, you know, before the war, during the war, after yes. the war. It's, what about your? I mean. You both had, by the looks of things, long and, and very happy lives. Yeah. And, yes. And, oh, yes. And blessed with good health by the side yes. of things as yeah. well. Yes. What would be, if you were to um, talk to younger people today, what would you say is the secret to a really happy life? And a happy and long life, for that matter. Do you have yes. any sort of tips and things that you would give to, to people? Who oh, are trust. Just... You trusted each other. Oh, yes. Completely. Yes. And love. That mm. came eventually. Yeah. I mean, at 15, it's, you think it's, that's love. It isn't necessarily. No. But and both stayed. have interests. And companionship. Yes. That is it. Yeah. Companionship. Mm. Both have the same interests, but also... Had you, ones, did your own thing. You can go your way if you want. You can go your way, you know, and uh, always come back. <laughs> yes. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, you just got on with it, didn't you? Mm. And you take risks. Of course you do. Because if you don't take risks, you don't know. You know, you're just stuck, aren't you? In, in... We did. We took a few risks, but it, it paid off. And those that didn't, it didn't matter. You moved on. Tell me about some of the risks you took then. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, buying that... a house for a oh, start, yeah. oh, that yes, was the yes, biggest yes, risk. Yes, yes. Yeah, it was. About the first and Then one. you had a bookshop, didn't you? That was a well, risk. Well, then Eric Little. went to Canada. We were going oh, to yeah. emigrate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it didn't work out there, the land of milk and honey. No, it wasn't. <laughs> so mm. he came back. And, um, and we, I don't know, we... We managed very well, and we bought a house. Yeah, you and, did. Yes, and uh, yeah. Did, all... did you take risks as well? No, he wasn't the risk type. No, well, he got Eric a very would. a pretty good job at the Kems Kemsley newspapers in those days. Oh, yes. yes, and he also suffered with the what? What was his name? Who pinched the? Oh, Mac. Maxwell, yeah. Maxwell, oh, Maxwell yeah. Yes. yeah. But we didn't do too bad. We got most of it back. Yeah. But he, no, he knew he'd got a good job and he stayed with that. He wasn't yes. a, a risk taker. So no, Eric. Our lives did differ, didn't they, yes. in that respect? Yeah. yeah. 
when but Eric came honest. back from Canada, he got yeah. a job at, on the Vulcan at Woodford. Mm -hmm. The uh, you know, and he was there for sixteen years, and then he um, he set up his own building because he he used to work with his father's firm, and he set up his own building um, thing so. up. Yes, it is, and did very well. Built a lot of extensions and oh. conservatories and what have you. Yeah. So, yes. So we've both got our own... Well, we always did have our houses, didn't we? But yes. Yours has been done up. My, no, you, you bought another house, didn't you? The bungalow. Yeah, and had yeah. it all done up. And mine needed doing up, so it's like living in a brand new house. So, But we both... We try and meet, don't we, as oh, much yes, as we, we can. Yes. Because I live Rochdale way and, you know, Different. I live Timpley. Yes. So. But we're quite happy, aren't we, even so? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, well, we've got each other. Yeah. We've got <laughs> grandchildren. That, great <laughs> grandchildren. <laughs> yes. And very good families. Yes. yes. So, yes, it, it's good to have some, something, you know, such a good background, especially at 90. Yeah. And good health. We're very grateful for yeah. that. Very grateful for the yes, families. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, anything that you would like to say that we haven't uh, touched on at all? Is there anything else that you, you would like to tell us about? What was that? Is there anything else we can think about that we can talk about? Oh, yes. What, what, what? Our bookshop trades. Oh, we yes. both worked in bookshops. Oh, yes. Part-time, didn't it? Yeah. Part-time bookshops, yes. yes. That was good. Yes. And we met and lots and lots of um, celebrities. Because and authors. It, invariably, they'd written books and came to sign it and all that. So that was interesting. Yes. I worked was... in one of the big... Well, we both did, didn't we? Yes. Will Shaw's in, Middle, in uh, Manchester. It was a very big... Bookshop. bookshop, yes, we love that. Oh, we loved yes. it. It was only there about four hours a day, but oh yeah. God, just to come away, you were back, you, you were yourself. As soon as I walked through that door, I, I know it sounds awful, but you'd forgotten all your family and, and that. And everything, just, it was your... You were normal, you, like you used to be, you know. Yes. Oh, it was lovely. Sure. And then, yes, the, a big risk we took, <laughs> Eric, um... We we uh, bought this. No, they wouldn't let us buy it. That was the sadness. Um, we hired, we um, rented <coughs> a little house, and Eric turned it into a bookshop. We called it the Pocket Edition. Yes, <laughs> that was it. It was very tiny. Yes. We were there for six years, uh, which we both thoroughly. Well, Eric had his job, and I used to do that. Thoroughly enjoyed that. But uh, then you get grandchildren. Yeah. So, and your weekends, you know, if you're working in yeah. shop work, your weekends, weekends, but... So we, we gave it up. One of the reasons that, I was sorry to leave it, but it had to be, was one Christmas I never sold one Winnie the Pooh book. Oh. Oh, that upset me. Because <laughs> they were all moving into sci-fi and oh. what have you. Yes. So... Well, that was one of the risks, but you yeah. just carry on. You just move on all the time. Yes. Yes. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think we've probably come to an end. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but thank oh, you very much indeed uh, for um, allowing us to sort of share you know, your life. Thank you. And um, here's to another good many years, I would think, by the looks. Yes, of well, it. we're hoping so. Yeah. As long as we're together. Yes, as long as we're together. <laughs> That's the main thing. We want to go together. I don't know how we can arrange it. But no, but we in <laughs> insist. We, like we came into this world together. We're going out of together. it together. <laughs> so well, there we are. Thank you very much indeed. Right. Thank, thank you, you very for much having us. for having us. We've enjoyed it. Thoroughly enjoyed it.